everybody, this is Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be sort of a harvest and a taste test. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I am trying uh, this new vegetable called a chocho, which is a South American vegetable. It's been doing pretty well. I think I planted it a bit later than I should have. Uh, I should have started it from seed a lot earlier because it is a long season vegetable. So for instance, it's October and I'm really getting my first good crop now. So definitely if I started a month or so earlier, I think that would be good next year. So this will be my first time trying an achocha. From what I've read, you can eat them two ways. You can eat them when they're a little smaller, a little earlier, and they're supposedly kind of like a cross between a bell pepper and a cucumber. The second way you could eat it is when it's a little more mature, uh, but apparently it hollows out quite a lot in the middle and uh, you can stuff it with different stuffings, uh, meat, rice, cheese, I guess the same way you might stuff a bell pepper. So here's my chocha vine. You can see it's coming along the top of my trellis here. Now if you get a look at those leaves, you might be a little worried that I'm growing something illicit, but uh, that's just the way that an achocha leaf looks. First off, the achocha will spend quite a lot of time putting on uh, green growth, so growing its foliage, growing up the trellis. Um, but finally, uh, probably at the start of fall, it started uh, producing a chocha, which are these little teardrop shaped vegetables. Occasionally they'll have these little spines. I don't know if you can see them. There's a couple little spines there. So I'm going to just cut open one and see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. You can see at the moment it's still fairly young. There's not much of a, of a hole forming, but you do have some seeds. They're very interesting type seeds because they're sort of shaped oddly. Um, I've seen them uh, referred to as puzzle piece seeds. So I've taken the seeds out of this half and I'm just going to uh, give it a little taste. I definitely see why they compare it to cucumber. It's definitely a very cucumber taste, maybe a, um, maybe a little bitter, but I could see myself using this as a, um, as a substitute for cucumber if, say, uh, my cucumbers weren't doing as well that year um, and I wanted to put some on a salad, I'd probably use some achocha, slice it up and uh, throw it on a salad. The exterior is quite chewy, so that can be a bit tough to uh, to break off with your teeth. You almost have to tear a little bit. But yeah, I'd say really the taste is very close to cucumber. I'm not sure where people are saying the bell pepper taste is. Maybe when you stuff it, it more ends up with a bell pepper taste. So I'm gonna go through and just pick a couple uh, similarly sized achochas uh, to bring inside and then put it on a salad and try that out. So I actually ended up only picking one other one um, because this was the biggest one. The others are still a little bit small. Um, I prefer to let them go maybe another week or so. This week we're supposed to have some fairly warm weather, especially for October. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll continue to grow and maybe I'll even get to try a more mature one that I can then stuff with something and, and taste do a taste test of that. So it's the last part of my taste test. I decided to take the other half of that achocha, uh, take out all the seeds and uh, put a little bit of salt on it. I'm gonna just try that and see what it's like. Definitely, I personally like that taste a bit better. Um, I do still have a bit of difficulty with the outer coating because it's just so rubbery. I'm thinking that if I were to eat it raw, I'd probably peel it. Um, and then I imagine if I were to stuff it when it's mature, you know, the cooking process would probably help make the outer coating not as rubbery. While I was out there, I did spot some bugs on my chocha plant. 
um, and I tried to knock a few of them off uh, and then I'm probably gonna do a little bit bit more research about what to do about them but um, I looked them up in this little kind of handy dandy bugs and slugs pamphlet that I have and I found them because they have a very distinctive look actually they're black but with a red X on the back of their body so I found them rather quickly and they're called the small milkweed bug and in the description it says feeds on toxic milkweed plants and is immune to most insect predators in terms of feeding on toxic milkweed plants I'm not totally sure why they're on my on my church plant but I have to maybe do a little research on how to deal with them because there were quite a lot like sort of gathered around one of my achocha. So that was my achocha harvest and taste test. Um, I know it wasn't that much of a harvest because I really only took two but uh, I definitely want to wait until a bunch of the ones on the vine are bigger. I did count quite a few on the vine that are smaller. I'd imagine there's at least 12 there. So hopefully within the next week or two, which is supposed to have good weather, hopefully they'll get bigger and maybe I'll get a chance to try a larger, more mature achocha that I could stuff. If I was able to stuff a mature chocha, most likely that would go on my Instagram just because I don't think I'd really have enough to make a whole video about it, either on my Instagram or my Facebook. Um, so if you're not on both of those, uh, you might be interested in going because I have a lot of content there that you won't necessarily see in my videos. So for instance, Instagram, I do a lot of um, small harvests you know take pictures of things that I've picked that doesn't really constitute an entire video and then with my Facebook um, I do already have one sort of small little video that I posted there um, on how to how I make my hibiscus tea with the flowers that I harvest from my indoor hibiscus and I'll put the link to both my Instagram and my Facebook in the description below so if you're interested in checking that out please do Thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more, uh, make sure to subscribe so that you're notified every time I put up a new video. I do tend to put up a, a video every Wednesday and Sunday. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, happy gardening.